this is my ticket for to the tomb. A glance at the tomb can create the illusion of a scenic park packed with lakes, hills, pavilions, amidst the lushness of frangipani trees and a grove of pines. This is frangipani. The smell is amazing. Jackfruit again. Yeah, we've eaten it. Yeah. In Vietnam, yeah. we have we have it every morning. Yeah. The tomb complex of the Duke was built between 1864 and 1867, while the emperor was still alive. How many wives this emperor had? He had 103 concubines. 103 concubines. Yes. And how many children? No children. He have a three adopted child. Oh, yes. three adopted children. Tuduk tomb is a large complex set around a lake that the emperor used it as a summer residence. The enormous expense of the tomb and the forced labor used in its construction spawn a coup plot that was discovered and suppressed. Tuduk is the longest reigning Grand Emperor on record. He struggled with rebellion, French encroachment and court intrigues for 30 odd years. Towards the end of his life, the Emperor retreated into his tomb creating a fantasy land where he could compose poetry, hand and console himself through his concubines. There is even a royal theatre inside the complex named Miki and Dong. The theatre is a reflection of Tuduk's poetic soul, with the ceiling carved with stars, clouds, crescent moon and sky. Today performances are not shown in this theatre. No other royal tomb in Huye can compare to Tuduk's in the department of size and luxuriousness. The tomb's architecture was designed to work in harmony with the carefully manicured landscape. The tomb site and its buildings are relatively well preserved despite the ravages of war and time and serve as a reminder that money and power can only buy one so much happiness. Located in a narrow valley in Duong Suang Tong village, 8 kilometers from Hue city, Tuduk Tum is considered as one of the most beautiful and picturesque and largest work of architecture of Nguyen dynasty's royal palaces and tombs. The Vietnamese people say that the Tuduk Tum is a must in every tour to Hue city.